Hi, Melody again with, on behalf of Expert Village. I'm going to show you how to put a transfer onto a household item that will make it less boring. These are rub-on transfers and I've chosen this design because there's a longer one involved in it and I'm going to cut that piece out. You don't have to. You can just leave it where it is but I think I need to cut it so that I don't transfer part of something else and waste it on just having it stuck onto the wrong thing. It's rather sticky on the back side where my hand is holding it underneath. It's, it's actually attaching itself to my finger right now. I'd rather not have it transfer to my finger. These make great tattoos too for your children if you want a removable tattoo. Just rub one of these on your child. There we go. All right, this is the one we're going to put on. And you place it where you want it to go. And I think that looks about where I want it. And then these packages come with a little rub on stick. And you just start to rub over the picture so that it will transfer onto the item that you want it to be on. And it's a little bit bulging right there, so it'll tell you, it'll make kind of crackly noises if there's air under there. Just push them out and keep rubbing until your entire design has had pressure over it which will transfer the actual design from the plastic, clear plastic, onto your item. And in a minute, when you get ready to pull it, you'll want it to go very slowly. And if it looks like it hasn't attached itself, you definitely want to stop and, and uh, scrape on there again to uh, put some pressure on it. Now we're going to check our design and see it's not quite going down yet. I have to apply a, a heavy amount of pressure. As you can see with my fingers really pushing on this. It depends on what you're putting it onto also. This can was previously painted and it uh, may have had a little bit of um, dust or dryness on it. I did wash it off first, but you never know. Just see this picture is starting to appear on the item. Especially when you've got little, little buds or little flowers or little lines. Be sure and go over them again. As you can see, I'm actually pulling it and watching it, and if it doesn't look like it's sticking, I'm just keeping it right up there close, and then I'm rubbing again, because I want that design to be in total. I want it to be a complete design. So go really, really, really slow, and watch what you're doing underneath. We're almost to the end. Almost there. Just a little teeny bit more just to make sure it's down there. And there we go. A completed design. In our next segment, I'm going to show you how to use some other items and make them attractive and something useful around the house and less boring than it was when you started.